but it appears that some sort of fire has broken out outside of the courthouse in New York City where the former president's trial, there you can see it, uh, his trial happening right now. We just learned that all of the jurors had been seated, all of the alternates had been chosen. Uh, Laura Engel there live on the scene, but as we were getting ready to report this, then we heard that there was this fire, a uh, report of this fire breaking out outside. So we are working to get reaction. Uh, I know that right now officials are there on the scene trying to put it out. So Laura Engel is outside there of the courthouse. Laura, can you tell us what's happening? We're hearing reports of this fire, potentially somebody setting themselves on fire. Nicole? We just witnessed somebody set themselves on fire. I just saw it happen. Greg, go ahead and turn around. Don't show the fire. Show what the activity that's happening right in back of us. Okay, so the area that's right in back of our cameras, try not to show the man on fire, please. Just, just show the court officers, the NYPD, this is a, an extremely chaotic scene that has just taken place. We just got word that the jury has been seated in the Trump trial, and all of a sudden I heard a scream. We turned in back of us, and this area that is fenced in right behind our line of cameras is where the protest scene has been all week. People with Trump flags, pro, uh, counter demonstrators, and it looked like something out of a movie. It looked uh, there was a man standing on fire and he flames were shooting up in the air and his hands were starting to shake and he dropped down to his knees and people started screaming and we just saw a group of police officers jump this fence you can see people running in now greg can you get those guys you can see these officers running in and we all just said to ourselves, is this real? Because it did not look real. It looked like something out of a movie. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.